question 20, getting close to the end here. Well, maybe not. There's uh, 28, I think, right? Let's see. Let's take a look. I was thinking maybe there's only 23, but there's 28. We'll just keep going. Um, again, just watch the ones that you need to, um, but hopefully you're finding this helpful. And uh, I'll say it again at the end, but any feedback you can give me will be helpful. Uh, it's been a while since I've done these uh, made videos, maybe about six months, so uh, I'm a little rusty, but let's let's make it good. Okay. So here we're looking. What is the percentage of these? What is the percentage of these test scores that are less than 82? So we want a percentage less than 82. These are eight, so we know there's a total of eight. We're going to count how many are less than 82, and then we'll divide it by eight. Now there there's an 82 here, so do we count that? Well, no. 82 is not less than 82, it's equal to. So we count only the ones less than 82. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we've got six scores that are less than 82. Out of the 8, we're going to divide this, multiply by 100, and that will give us percentage. I used to be good at figuring out eights because uh, I used to be a mortgage loan processor and mortgage loans are all based on eights of a percent. Um, let's see, it's 0.625. That's going to be my guess. That's just coming out of uh, old, 30-year-old uh, habits that I, you know, I used to have to do that. Let's see, I'll do it with the calculator, but I think it's going to be 0.625 multiplied by 162.5%. Uh, so six divided by 8. Oh, 0.75. First I'm getting 0.6. Oh, I think 5. Yeah, that's right. 5 divided. That's why you always check yourself. 75%. Uh, and then multiply by 100, you'll see you'll get 75. There we go. Of course, this reduces down to 3 fourths, which is 75%. Okay. There we go. 75%. That's 20. Thanks.